Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. This is the physiology question. A 40 years old suffer blunt trauma to the head and develop respiratory compromise. As a result, she develops hypercapnia. That means increase carbon dioxide level. Who is of the following effect most likely in this issue? Here are the options. Options are cerebral vasoconstriction. Cerebral vasodilation, cerebral blood flow will remain unchanged. Shunting of blood to peripheral tissue will occur in preference to CNS perfusion and none of the above. So, we have to find out the clinical effect caused by the hypercapnia that means increase carbon dioxide level. So, the patient uh, suffers from blunt trauma, head, and develop respiratory compromises. And his blood carbon dioxide level increase so what will effect of carbon dioxide in the blood vessel so let's see the hypercapnia that means when there is carbon dioxide level increase in this condition they usually produce cerebral vasodilation this is considerable importance in patient with cranial trauma it may increase the intracranial pressure also so how they work here we can say this is the carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide it acts on the calcium level and from the calcium level there is the prostaglandin secretion occurs and this prostaglandin goes to the smooth muscle and finally here we can see the blood vessel dilation occurs so the carbon dioxide it causes dilation of the or uh, dilatation of the blood vessels that means in the cerebral vascular system in case of emergency condition there is need more amount of the blood for this the carbon dioxide it increase the diameter of the blood vessel and increase the blood flow so what is the effect of the hypercapnia the effect of the hypercapnia is the cerebral vasodilation